I just found a way to fix the unhandled exception error that we encountered in the last video. Let's go. Let's say this is my Python file, ng-dip-translator. This is my app's original code. Pretend that you've done your code. I just need to add something at the back. Ignore any potential warnings. That's what these lines of codes do. Save it. Alright. Open command prompt. Since in my environment, I've already installed PyInstaller. So where's my environment? It's in my D drive, the nice guy folder. This environment is called nice guy. You can name it your name, something like that. That's just your environment's name. Anyway, I'm going back to my environment, which is this one. Nice guy scripts activate. Then suppose you are going to pip install high installer. I've already installed, so I just need to create a folder where you want to install your app. In my case, it's my USB G drive. So just mkdir G drive. Just name it test app one. Okay. Now should see a folder called test one in G drive. Okay. It should be blank inside. Now let me get in this folder. Now I'm in the G drive test app one, the blank folder. I'm already in virtual environment. Nice guy. You can see that I've activated the bracket here just tells you that you already activated this environment. In this environment, I installer this folder, which is inside G drive test app one. I'll package my vendors program, but there are some parameters. One directory. That means create a folder in my G drive test app one. Okay. Here I use window mo. I don't want to see the console, these kinds of black boxes. After that, I add that based on which Python file to make my app. My Python file is G drive here, ng deep trans. Okay. ng deep trans dot py. This can be your app's name, your app name, whatever you like. Okay. Suppose I need to add data. After that, I need to add packages required to run my app, but I just leave it for now. I'll add that later. Okay. Now press enter. Oops. Typo. Py installer. Okay. And it will start the installation process. Okay. Done. Now deactivate it. Exit and go back to the folder test app one. This one. Here you see two folders and one file have been created. Build, dist, and it's back file here. The result is in the dist folder. There's a folder named after our Python file. Look for the execute file, which is here. When you click it, nothing should come out. It takes quite a while for the first time. Here is blank, right? But at least the window is loaded. But it's just blank. Why? Because I didn't install those packages required to run my app. So I just put it back now. I'll go back to the virtual environment folder. The nice guy folder in D drive. Lib. That's a library. Site packages. Nice guy needs the package. Nice guy. All right. Then we need fast API. UVCon and style it. Since my app needs the nice guy package, so you see all these packages inside packages folder. But if your app uses other packages, then you have to choose your own package accordingly. I won't go deep here. Since my app uses a package called Deep Translator, I press Control left click to select Deep Translator folder. Control C, copy it to the folder test app one and then distribution my app folder and then control V paste it here then go back to the executable inside my app folder double click it it should work this time 
done. All right, let me try typing a Japanese phrase to see if it can translate to German. Okay, that's it. Hope it helps. Ciao.